Hey guys, uh, just me, gonna do a cool little hard box video. I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but I had been missing one, so I wasn't, I was gonna wait till I had the uh, little complete set here before I showed it off. And it is six hard boxes, um, all by the filmmaker Georg Butchkit, and uh, I'm sure I'm destroying his names, his name, I'm sorry. And, uh, I'm sure somebody's gonna type it up in there, hey, you can't pronounce his name for shit, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I tried, you know. I'm not German, I can't do it. Anyway, I'm gonna go through them. There's, they, they recently released uh, all six of his films, well, sort of, in these hard boxes. And uh, they all match there, that's what I thought was real cool. They, they made them um, all similar. But I'm gonna go through them, show them, open them up, in case anyone's interested in getting them, you know. There are for the most part pretty limited so I highly recommend picking them up <clears throat> alright the first one is hot love and uh, this is not this has like five or six of his uh, short films um, the main one is of course hot love which is the longest one I think it runs like 30 minutes maybe a little more maybe a little less um, so this is all of his absolute most early work this hard box was limited to 111 um, Nothing too, uh, nothing too fancy with this one. This one's just got one disc. It's all of his Super 8 films. So you can check out the disc artwork there. Um, I absolutely loved it because it was the first time that I actually came across the collection of his short films. Um, I had never seen it in any other release. Alright, next is Necromantic. This is probably his uh, most famous film, I would say. It's the one that, you know, kind of gave him a, a name as a cult director. Uh, this one was limited to 333. And uh, I believe this... Nope, this one is also just a single disc. Alright, next film he did was Zertodskin. And this was the first hard box I bought. It was also the first released, I believe. Um... And it was limited to 222. And on the inside, we got a book. I can get it out here. So here's the disc artwork, which I really like the disc on that one. Very simple, but I just really like it. And this is the book that comes with it. And the back here. I believe the book in this one is completely in German. Yeah. No. Actually, it's half German, half English, so that's pretty cool. Um, and this is actually, it, it kind of like breaks down, because this film was cut into seven different days. This book actually breaks down all seven days and kind of explains like what it means. Um, very cool. I absolutely love this one. And again, I th it was the first one I got, so that's probably why I like that one the most. Uh, next, we got Necromantic Part 2. This one was limited to 666. Uh, so this, I think, is the uh, most widely available one, as there's about twice as many of these as any of the rest. Alright, open this one up. This one has all kinds of goodies in it. Uh, the first thing we got here is a piece of the actual uh, film, and uh, it's signed there by the director. And then, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to see the uh, images, but... Uh, it's a part of the corpse when it's shot from above. Um, it's actually a pretty cool scene to get. But uh, it's like if the camera was on the roof facing down towards the corpse. That's the uh, scene that I got. All right, next in here is a magnet. We got a little bitty magnet uh, with the movie poster. Then we got... Let me get these out. Uh, first, we got this uh, cutout... It's like a coffin and a corpse. You can like cut them out and fold it up and it turns into a little coffin with a corpse. Uh, and the director signed that one too. Or I believe it's the director. No, the producer signed that one. Alright, and then we got these, the uh, book. And this is actually the thickest book out of uh, all of the ones that came in these hard boxes. And uh, this one is... Again, half English, half German. Very cool. Uh, they have like all kinds of. They have a thing in here to like get the movie past customs, which I think is really cool. It's in German, but 
it's still really cool that they thought to put that in there. And I bet back in the day when they were, you know, when this when the films first came out, they probably did have a problem with customs. All right, so this one on the inside, I took the discs out, but there's two, and they stack up both right here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but I just wanted to show you both of the discards. So this is the soundtrack, and then this one is the actual movie. All right, so that is Necromantic 2. Next we got, well, let me censor this, uh, Shram. This is the one that I had been missing. Uh, this one's limited to 222. And on the inside of this one, we got another book. All right, here's the book that comes with it. The Making of Shram. Uh, on the back here, we got the... Uh, the track, the soundtrack uh, listings. Um, again, it's got one of those things to help it get past customs. Pretty cool. Uh, this one is completely in English, it looks like. Yep, this one's completely, the book is 100% in English. And here are the two discs. The first one is this music soundtrack. And then the second one is the film. They look the same, except one says disc and one says DVD. Alright, and then lastly, we have Captain Berlin versus Hitler. And this one's a play. Uh, I believe he directed the play, but he did not film the movie. He just directed the play. And it's limited to 111. And then on the inside here, this one comes with... Uh, a little comic book thing here. Well, it's supposed to look like a comic book. It's a little bit smaller, but, it, you know, it's actually... They did a good job. It's really... It's short. It's probably, like, only ten pages long, but... It's a pretty cool thing to have, and I already read through it. It's pretty, uh... It's in, um, German and English. Well, some parts are in both. Some parts are only in German. Kind of weird. <clears throat> Alright, and then uh, here's the disc for that one. And that's it. That's all six of his hard boxes. Um, I was glad to finally get all of them because I probably... I picked this one up when it first came out, and that was probably over a year ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. And then uh, they finally got around to releasing all of them, and it's, you know, it's cool to, as a collector, to get all of them. Um, now I have the... the the American English re DVD releases, and then I got these uh, the German hardbox releases, and uh, he's one of my favorite directors, so uh, it's definitely a cool thing to have. And uh, I need to go back and watch his movies again because I was thinking about it. Um, the last one I watched, of course, was Captain Berlin vs. Hitler. I watched that a few months ago, but as far as like Necromantic, Shram, um, Der Toadskin, all of those ones. I probably haven't seen them in like two or three years. It's, in fact, like the Necromantics, I, those are the first ones I ever saw. It's probably been like three, maybe a little bit longer, three years. Anyway, guys, um, that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one and take it easy.